Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits and I am using the July kit for this one. And I am just going through a few things, getting a bit of an idea of what I want to do. At this stage, I had no idea other than I knew I, I had a photo that I wanted to scrap. Um, and then as I was looking through some of the products that I've still got left from this kit, I got completely inspired by the background of the stencil pack, um, the Vicky Booten stencils. And I thought, I know what I want to do. I'm going to incorporate that onto a layout. And that, and that meant I had, um, I guess, a jumping off point. And I knew that I wanted to then use that gorgeous, gorgeous blue patterned paper as my full background there. I just love that blue. I, it's sort of got that chalky feel. Um, it's the only way I can really describe it. Um, and I thought it was a, a lovely way just to incorporate the, uh, a patterned paper as my background. I often do white um, backgrounds because I do a lot of mixed media. And this one I decided I'm going to do the complete reverse. So I'm doing the patterned paper first and I'm adding just a, um, a cut down piece of white cardstock as well. Um, I didn't measure it, sorry. Um, but it's about, I guess, three quarter, just under three quarters, just over half, um, and then cut off at both ends as well. I did use my T-square ruler um, to make sure that the white cardstock and that um, beautiful background piece from the Vicky Booten kit um, is also straight on the page because it's going to be quite a linear um, layout. I felt that I really needed to make sure that that, that component that I'm sticking down there as my background was straight. So this layout actually, once I had that idea in my mind, because like I was saying, I didn't know what I was going to do other than I knew what photo I was going to, I wanted to scrap with on this particular day. Um, it really came together quite quickly. I love that when that happens, I just sort of got inspired by those gorgeous rainbowy colors and how perfectly matched I could get them to being on the layout as well with the Maggie Holmes, because the Maggie Holmes can sometimes be a little bit more subtle um, and I really loved how I could really tone this in as well to make still make a bit of a bright layout so I'm just having a play here with thinking about where I want to place some of these ephemera pieces now some of them are fussy cut out flowers from the patterned paper um, and then I'm using quite a bit of ephemera pieces from the ephemera pack as well and it's about this at the about, it's about at this point, oh my goodness, it's about at this point I realized there was something missing on the page. Can you guess? If you said, yep, Karen, you've got no mixed media on there, you'd be right. <laughs> I didn't. Um, and I really started thinking, I can't do it anymore. It's very rare for me not to have mixed media on a layout. And um, it just wasn't looking quite right for me. Um, so I continued to have a little bit of a I think and th uh, about how I could incorporate mixed media onto this page um, because I'd gone the other way and wasn't thinking I want to do sort of a white water wash or anything like that. And then I flicked through the stencils and realized that this gorgeous stencil piece here has all those tiny little sort of star crosses. And I thought that would be a perfect subtle way to add some mixed media to the layout. Um, just in three spots around the page just to anchor that I guess the what do they call it the thirds um, the visual triangle um, and that way it gave a little bit of depth to the page as well um, to do that I've just pulled out some um, of archival ink from my stash um, and I've used my inky blendy tool um, and just lightly press that through the stencil I didn't want to make it too dark um, and added some white splatters and gold splatters as well and I just love how subtle that looks but it gives a little bit of an impact to the page as well uh, so I really really love how that turned out so I'll talk about my photo just for a moment because it'll start to explain my decisions around some of the ephemera pieces that I'm using today so sometimes um, ephemera pieces, um, I get a little bit stuck. I don't net generally, I'm not a huge fan of ones that are really um, uh, uh, themed. Um, so sometimes I do struggle a little bit. Um, I, I love floral ephemera packs, don't get me wrong. I, 
you can never go wrong there but sometimes the themed ones do sort of get me a little bit stuck but this one was perfect um, because uh, this this particular one is more of a travel theme and this is not I haven't been traveling for quite a while because of COVID um, I thought I know what I can do here so this photo is a photo a group photo of a heap of friend, friends of mine um, we formed a scrapbook group um, quite a long time ago now I think we're hitting about 16 years where we first a, a small group of us all met online and um, we became fast friends from that first time we ever met in real life um, and then for years now ever since that moment we try to get away once or twice a year um, now the last couple of years we've been unable to do that because of COVID um, but hopefully we'll be able to kick those things off next year. Um, that's certainly the plan anyway. And so this is, we always have lots of fun when we get together. Some of us scrap, some of us party, some of us sing, some of us dance, uh, some of us just chill for the weekend. We are, have all become very, very close. We, um, we help each other out. It's a wonderful friendship and relationship that I have with all of these women. Um, and I love being able to create layouts to celebrate that. Um, so that's why I use those luggage pieces as an example there on the right hand side. One of those is from the ephemera piece um, and one is also one of the fussy cutouts from the cut apart sheet. Um, and I do pop one of those up on foam just to add some dimension. I put that camera at the top left hand side, that gorgeous cute camera, pop that up on some foam. We take a heap of photos when we're away. I mean, of course we do, we're scrappers, right? Um, so that's a great way to just incorporate that. That lovely little cluster that I put down on the right hand side there also has the little sticker from the sticker sheet that says journal. And I thought that was absolutely perfect. I'm using one of the um, ephemera pieces as well for my title, which is together and just a few banner pieces as well. So I've gone with my threes as well for my clusters. So I've started at the left and come around um, into that, into the right and then over to the left um, sort of, and then a little bit to the right, I guess, with that cluster on the bottom. I added in a little bit of yellow as well, um, just to finish off the edges of the white cardstock to add in a little bit more color, just tore a little bit of that uh, pattern paper and stuck it through there. And then I put a black border around the white cardstock and that finished my layout. I wanna thank you as always. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration and I will leave all the, in the description box below, I'll give you all the details around where you can get one of this month's kits. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye for now.